All right, so this is Cassie Viella. I'm a realtor property manager here in San Antonio, and we're going to do our uh, market update for the past week. So there's not a whole lot of new data um, that, you know, from last week, but uh, I pulled as much as I could. Um, so we do have, I mean, I think the big news this past week was the national unemployment rate coming out. 14.7 um, is drastic, uh, but not unexpected, actually lower than a lot of people have predicted. So, um, you know, we'll just keep watching that and seeing, you know, how that plays out over time now that things are kind of opening back up. So we are going to go to rental showings, or I'm sorry, no, showings per week in March and April that we've been tracking over the past few weeks. And um, there's a little bit of a dip the first week of May, um, down from last week and down from uh, last this week last year, um, but not you know, not so drastic that I'm going to call it a trend or anything. Um, but, just, you know, maybe just people went out for Mother's Day instead of going to look at house, houses, you know. Um, although the rental showings, I mean, we went way up this week on rental showings. So I think that people maybe were going to go look for a house, maybe thinking about moving and uh, put it off for as long as they could. But now we're getting into May, it's time. Summer's right around the corner, it's time to move. And uh, people are going out in droves. I've got some charts here um, that I just pulled off of uh, the San Antonio Board of Realtors uh, website. And so all of these numbers, you can't really, um, you know, specify a range. So all of these are just the whole San Antonio MLS, which includes all of the surrounding counties and all price ranges. Um, so it's not as specific as what we've looked at before, but I think it's important to see the, the, um, the trend. There's more rentals hitting the market. Um, again, that's pretty normal. People start moving in April, May, and we see more uh, rentals on the market. Uh, the list price you can see is just holding pretty stable, um, slight uptick in April, but I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't be changing any uh, rent prices based on that little uptick. It's not drastic enough. Maybe if it continues into May and June, um, we'll see something there. The number of newly listed single family homes uh, grew slightly in April. Um, but, you know, remember that in that price range that we've really been focusing on, the 100 to 200, those are way down. You know, this is homes, again, from all over the area, all price ranges. Um, but it is good to see, you know, more listings going up. Like, that's that's a very good thing. That's what we want to see. Um, there was a dip in median list price in April. I think that that, that decline is coming from the upper end of the market. Uh, the, you know, the starter home, investment home, those are staying really stable. Um, the, you know, $100,000 to $200,000 homes are still going really strong. But those upper level, those more um, expensive homes, they are decreasing in value. A lot of that is coming from the fact that a lot of lenders are not doing jumbo loans right now. So those really big um, expensive loans are not happening as easily. And so, you know, that, that list price is coming down for that reason a little bit. And now you see this chart here, weekly home sales. And um, this is over the past four weeks in this uh, market. And, you know, uh, if you just looked at this in isolation, you might start freaking out like, oh, wow, home sales are declining. Um, the market's going to fall apart. It's 2008 all over again. I don't see that. Um, what I see here is because of the information we went over last week where the amount of listings has declined so steeply, what I see here is less homes being available on the market. This trend is showing that, especially in that starter home category, there are so many fewer homes on the market that it's actually impacting the entire uh, net sales for the whole market. Um, so I wouldn't let this 
you know, fool you into thinking that there's going to be uh, price drops or anything like that. What this is saying to me is that inventory has tightened up over the past month. And, you know, price is staying pretty steady. That's, um, you know, a weird dip that second week of April. But for the most part, um, you know, we're not really seeing any anything happen to price, which, you know, I said the, the a few weeks ago, price is always the last thing to show up in these uh, in this data. So it's not going to be a while. Um, I mean, it's, it's going to be a while until we see any kind of um, price reductions, if they even happen at all. And I honestly, from the data I'm seeing, I don't know if that, that is going to happen. I, I think a lot of people are sitting there on the edge of their seats, you know, waiting, waiting for a housing crash. I just don't see another 2008. I could be wrong. You know, again, this is entertainment purposes only. Um, but from the data I'm seeing, the housing market still looks really, really strong here in San Antonio. Um, and this, I put this chart in here just to show you again that the um, the inventory has gone down um, so drastically, and that that explains why the um, the uh, there are so many fewer sales. <laughs> 